things have moved at a pace. We've now got 75 organisations involved. That ranges from individuals that have decided to pledge for their own personal reasons, right the way through to major sponsors who have seen it as a business opportunity. It's been really good because it's, it gives businesses that would not normally have the opportunity to be a sponsor for something like this so big as the P1 Powerboat over the weekend, to be part of it and to have their logo on something that's unusual as well. It's been an easy sell actually, uh, only this afternoon I was in a meeting and someone was asked why they got involved and they said because we can. I think at £200 as a, a starting sort of sponsorship level it's accessible for everyone. And I think the key is that we can get small to medium enterprises involved and it's accessible for every business. Well Business Springboard got involved with one hull of a boat because we heard about the campaign we liked the idea, we saw the benefits straight away and as an organisation I suppose we've got the energy, the passion, the enthusiasm, that's what we're all about and we took the view that rather than talk about something we'd actually get on and do it. Well what we're hoping for is all, all the people in the region will come along um, it's absolutely free to watch and you can make of it what you will. We've joined in with the Lord Mayor's Parade, um, so on the Saturday when we start racing, we, we actually put the boats in the water on the Friday, we start racing on the Saturday and the Sunday. Uh, because of the tide times and the ways in and out, um, we're going to be racing in the morning on Saturday. Immediately we get back to the marina, the Lord Mayor's Parade will start and we'll go around the city and then we'll race all day Sunday as well. When people get it, they get it, and when they realise, when they see what what's going to come from it, and how good it is for the community, for the region, and for the local stimulus. Um, I mean, a lot of people find it shocked when I say that in reality, this boat is. I think the coverage of it over the whole of the UK race is something like 6.3 million people. So in reality, it's fantastic that they get their a part of Hull out on that. So even if they haven't been able to pledge into it, they still get to see their boat on the Humber. So this is an opportunity for everyone to get together um, and see what it's about and also on the uh, sponsorship advertising side we saw it as an opportunity to promote our brand um, around the country and around the rest of the world. We'll walk along through the city centre in full race gear, they'll come into the Mercure, we'll, we want everybody dressed up, I want the girls in taffeta ball gowns, I want the guys in suits. We want to have a really, really big celebration with the fact that Hull's done something spectacular. Uh, they want to get out of the comfort zones a little bit and, and that was really the challenge from, from day one with the organisation and really this campaign was, was perfectly made for us. You know, it gave us an opportunity to do something that we don't do within the normal business day. Yeah, we want to keep going. Um, I think tonight's news that uh, for an additional five grand on top of um, our original sponsorship amount, um, we can name our driver. In fact, it could be any, any member of the business community that's uh, got the guts to drive a boat on water at 80 miles an hour. Uh, so we want to keep going, keep the pledges coming in and uh, go as far as we can. 